Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of WTF. Woohoo! Welcome back to season eight of WTF. Yep. We've already had two strong competitions so far. Yep. I won the first one. Kate took home the victory on the second one. So we're all square again. Yeah, I think that's quite a nice way we started it, actually. Yeah. Didn't plan it, but it worked out quite nicely, yeah. actually. What, so. what, what kind of accusations are you <laughs> alleging there, Kate? <laughs> but anyway, we hope you guys have enjoyed this. This isn't a Logan Paul and KSI fight. No. Oh, we hope you guys have enjoyed the first two episodes. Now, shall we see what, what the fudge is, is in, in the, the box? box. Ooh. Ooh. And some Matt branded gaffer tape. Look, it's Matt's own tape. Oh yeah, that's cool. An so ominous roll it? of black gaff tape. Ladies and gentlemen, food enthusiasts and thumb wrestling champions, <laughs> welcome back to another thrilling episode of WTF. Kate and Alex, prepare yourselves for a challenge like no other. The WTF No Thumbs Challenge. <laughs> <laughs> in this thumbtastic episode, our dynamic duo will go head to head in a series of five mind bending rounds, each more thumb restrictive than the last. Oh Get ready for a digital detox because in each round, Kay and Alex must tackle tasks without the use of their trusty, opposable thumbs. <laughs> We've become cats. Yeah. As always, the player with the most points at the end of this thumbless extravaganza will be crowned the WTF No Thumbs Champion. So Kate and Alex, with the score deadlocked at one all and only three episodes left, it's time to thumb your nose at convention and dive into the most challenging thumb-free culinary showdown of the season. May the most dexterous digits prevail. Good, Good luck, luck guys, guys, the, the WTF, WTF team. team. The No Thumb challenges have been some of my favorites. Yeah, it's like funny. the first ever No Thumbs challenge. It just makes me laugh so much. We'll leave that linked up there if you want to check yeah. that out. We also look very different. <laughs> I was rocking a really short bob then. Yeah, you haven't had a bob for ages. I know. Shall we get to a wrapping our thumbs? Let's do it. This series of WTF is brought to you by British Candy Box. Order now for pre-Christmas shipping. Enjoy. You feel so restricted. You do. Without, without your thumbs, don't you? Is this look what at, cats feel like? <laughs> yeah, I feel like my fingers, my fingers have already gone like purple. <laughs> yeah, if I start not being able to feel my fingers, Matt, you might have to come over quick time. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Game we, one. We've just been thrown a piece of paper. I feel sweaty under there already. Look, I'm having some sneaky practice here. Oh, it's long. <laughs> yeah, Kate thought I didn't want to do another series of WTF, but secretly I've just been practicing. <laughs> He's been been going to, uh, you know, Warhammer. Yeah. They do this, but for no thanks. Yeah. Cue um, Rocky style montage. <laughs> yeah. Round one, card sorting frenzy. The first challenge, known as the Card Sorting Frenzy, plunges Kate and Alex into a race against time. Tasked with dropping 10 cards onto the table, they must then swiftly pick them up and arrange them in numerical order. The absence of their thumbs adds a layer of complexity to this seemingly simple task, turning it into a fast-paced exercise in precision and coordination. Three, two, one, go for it. Winner! <laughs> God, that was I, hard. At the end, I really panicked there because I thought you were about to pick them up and then I just realized <laughs> no, you had one there. Right. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, And the ace. challenge should be together. <laughs> yeah. Separate them. Yo, my arm go. is a sweating. One nil. You. Well done. <laughs> Round two. Crisp conundrum. Prepare for the crisp conundrum where our contenders must open a bag of crisp and, with the handicap of thumblessness, devour a single crisp. Navigating the snack bag and successfully munching on a crisp without the assistance of thumbs transform this seemingly casual activity into a hilarious and challenging task, adding a flavorful twist to the competition. Did you get these from Candyland? And these are available on the website. <laughs> we did this one last time and it, was, it really... Um, but it was a much smaller bag, actually. Yeah, and it was a real debate on who got the oh, crisp it was in so first. Close. 
Are we filming in uh, in high speed, Matt, so we can slow it down for a photo finish if we need? Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Winner! <laughs> did you do that? I'm so grateful. Did you just do that? Well, I wasn't meaning to, but I think I popped them. <laughs> I've really hurt my thumb, though. My the fingers table. could not do that at all. <laughs> well, well done, Al. Do you want to try one? Yeah, I would like yeah. to try one. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Mmm. Oh, nice nice. Wow, that was quick. Well done, Al. Mm, they are nice. Well, as we know from previous seasons, my. My forte is lying, speed eating. <laughs> <laughs> that makes it one all. Round three. Tape Tango. In the Tape Tango, Kate and Alex enter the realm of adhesive artistry. Armed with four equal pieces of tape, we must create a perfect square on the table. The absence of thumbs demands creative problem solving as we navigate the sticky situation, turning a simple task into a tape-centric dance of coordination. Okay. Here we go then. New one. New one. Three, two, one, go. Oh, square enough. It, but Winner. Mine wouldn't have been that square either, look. It looks more like Pythagoras. Yeah. <laughs> Take that one away. I it's thought, pie. I actually thought I was going to win that. Did you? Yeah. I thought I was really clever with the tap. <laughs> but the problem is, yeah. I relifted my first one. So and I, I should have just gone with it. Yeah. Because I could have done it at that angle. Sometimes you don't need to be a perfectionist. No, you when just got to get it thumbs. done. You just got to get it done. Woo! 2 1. God, this is tense though. Can you feel it's, the. Yeah, yeah the I can tenseness. feel it under my armpits. <laughs> Round four. Four. Potato precision. Precision takes centre stage in the potato precision round, where Kate and Alex are handed the challenge of cutting three potatoes into consistent one centimetre chunks. The stakes are high as the most uniform potato chunks will claim victory. That's good. This culinary task not only tests their knife skills, but also challenges their ability to maintain consistency in the absence of their dexterous thumbs. Who are you, Paul Hollywood? I'm worried about my fingers. <laughs> yeah, because that's a sharp knife over yeah. there. Just because I haven't got a thumb, I don't want to lose a finger. <laughs> the cube. The cube. Oh, this no, is all itchy underneath. This is all because Matt wants to go on the cube. Be careful with no, your you fingers. be careful with your fingers. It's not just a race about time, it's no, a race about... about fingers. Yeah. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Three, two, one, go. <laughs> I don't know how Matt's going to judge this. Like, well, is it like the con more the consistency? I think that Matt's judging, having to judge this is like worse than actually having to cut them. Mine are generally bigger than Kate's. So I reckon get the tape measure That's the only thing I and do. see who's actually closer to the, the one centimetre. The one centimetre. Oh my word, yeah, one centimetre is tiny. So oh, that, one, that one is so cubed. I think for that one, Kate's got to win. I think that's the most cubed one out of any yeah, of them. Yeah, there's a, and look, I've not just got one. Look no, at that. yeah, Kate wins. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Well good. done, Al. Well done, that was, yours are very cubed. Mine are like kind of long. Definitely your win because yours were smaller, but also they were more consistent. More consistent. I had like longer, one side longer than the other. And a couple really teeny ones. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> so did you. Well done, Al. <laughs> So what's that, two all? Two all. So my, this is down my to the tie break. thumbs are really starting yeah. to feel stressed. Round five. Heat Swap Symphony. The grand finale, the Seat Swap Symphony, introduces a twist of musical chairs to the competition. Kate and Alex must swap seats, write their names on a piece of paper, and then quickly revert to their original position. The race against the clock, combined with the absence of their thumbs, turns this seemingly straightforward task into a chaotic yet ballet of seat swapping and name writing prowess. Three, two, one, go.
Winner! It was Alex! <laughs> yeah, but it's not illegible enough. Yes! Are you sure? Yes. Well done, uh, Alex! Okay. Yours is really clear, though. I oh, know, I'm pleased uh, with that! Although, you, you haven't done an eye, have you? Yeah, there. Oh, right. I haven't had to spell Catherine for such a long time. I was really chill about doing Alex, and then you said, do our full name, and I yeah, was like... Yeah, because I think it's yeah, a bit it's more... Yeah. Right, switch. Oh, you were so fast at writing. I thought you were going to start writing with me underneath <laughs> no, you. No, I thought that would be too cheeky. <laughs> Shall we free our hands? Yes, let's. Well done. Well done well now. Done. Well done. For our, For our final, final task. Oh, dearie you, me. How much do you trust me? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm free. I'm free. What's I don't that? even care, Billy Elliot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. oh! That was painful. Oh, that's how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I ripped it the wrong way. Oh, that was horrific. Oh! Dear me, and that's, oh. that's what I don't get in the films as well, is they rip it off the mouth and most of the time no one's like, ah! <laughs> oh. oh, we're free. We're free. Oh, well, there well, we have it. You've won again. Three. But don't two, be that? fooled. I'm, not getting I'm two, coming back. I'm not getting too cozy over here. We are on, what is that then? That's the thing. Two, one. Because it's a shorter series, it's almost like a sprint yeah, rather than is. like sometimes the 10 episodes feels like. A marathon. I also feel like in some of the earlier seasons, like I had let myself go for a couple episodes mm. and then I like came, came back. back yeah. Whereas for this, there is no chance to do that, is there? You have to no, just go for it. Go for it. So at the end of that round, the, the scores are two one to me, and Kate's going to come back fighting, I'm sure. Yes, we will see you next Sunday for episode four. Bye, guys. See ya. <laughs>